Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Baron Fig 2018 planner. Now, um, Baron Fig did send this to me uh, for review purposes, so uh, just get that out of the way right off the bat. However, I also bought one um, because the second they announced it, I didn't want to miss out because I missed out last year, so I just went ahead and bought one, not knowing if they were going to send one or not. And then the next day I got an email saying they were sending one. So... Um, Anyway, uh, more about that here in a little bit, but uh, this is the 2018 planner. Kind of neat um, box here, you know. Uh, it's got this insert where, just like on the front of the box, uh, it's got each season in the window. So, spring, summer, fall, winter. Pretty cool. Um, every day counts. On the back is a full yearly calendar, something maybe you could pin up on a board you know, in and around your desk or, you know, keep with you in a bag or something like that. Um, not that, you know, we need these type of things because we all have phones on our hips all the time, but um, still something pretty cool. Uh, the back of the box is generally like a confidant box, except for kind of mentions one year, one book, uses a date book, task manager, a daily journal. Okay, so uh, here is the book. Now, it looks like a confidant. It's the same shape as a confidant, but it does have, right here you can see, the blind embossed 2018. And then, instead of a yellow ribbon, it has a gray ribbon. Um, I wish that maybe they were a little bit more uh, different. I, I wish that there was more differences in the style so that I could when I have a confidant in my bag and this in my bag and I'm, you know, digging through my bag to pull what I want out, I don't get the wrong thing. Um, I don't think that this uh, little bit is just enough to, to tell me. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, let's start with the front. Let me get this, move this box out of the way. Okay, start with the front. Um, so your first spread is your year-long spread, um, January through December. It's just one spread. Then it starts with the weekly spreads. And then on these you get Monday through Saturday, Sunday. They split up Saturday, Sunday here so that, um, you know, because if it was all seven days, one of the days would be across the gutter. And that's probably not a good thing. So if people are going to be planning on using this for work and stuff like that, tasks, then Monday through Friday kind of makes a little bit more sense. Um, it's just kind of a design thing that you have to deal with. You know, what are you going to put across the gutter or what are you going to, um, you know, make smaller or whatever. And generally the rule of thumb is to kind of make the weekend smaller. I personally don't have a lot of stuff going on on the weekend, so it's fine with me, but some of my friends with kids and, you know, lives, <laughs> they have a lot more things going on on the weekend, so uh, that may not work for them. Um, so you get through there, and then another thing I happen to notice here is um, when they have that situation um, on a day, then it cuts here too. So, you know, that's just like on a normal calendar. There was one month I happened to notice that was kind of odd um, oh yeah here this section is blank for the 31st so you could just use that all for Saturday if you wanted to uh, maybe it was July if I, yeah so you have two of those across and then you have all these blank and then one little half here on for the Sunday and I get why it is like that it's just a shame that couldn't have maybe bumped this up and then you know left you with some extra side on the other side i don't know i don't know what to do you know like that's it's just a thing like you have to make a decision on it and sometimes your decision is you know probably what's going to work the best and might upset a few people but you know it is what it is got to make a decision you can't just sit on it um so okay here we go uh i was i put a i had a really like wet fountain pen here and i happy new year and then i kind of 
shut it really quick and it smeared a little bit but um this is like the same paper that's in a confidant it's really good with you know fountain pens whatever like there's not a lot of there's no bleed through there this was like a, a medium lamy 2000 so and it was like really wet um so um the way it is here is you got your monday through friday and then you got your saturday sunday split up again now my thought here was um you could get rid of this header and then move everything up a little bit and put Saturday and Sunday below it, like the same how they are here. Now, it's not going to be the exact same thickness as these, but this is like, I measured it out. This is like, this header is like 15% of the total page uh, length. So it seems to me that it this is kind of wasted, and, and if you wanted more weekend space, you could have dealt with it that way. I know that it kind of like goes against having the header across all of it but i think it, that would have been a a good trade-off um one thing that i noticed too is like it has this little bit here where it has the month and then you know it'll go down may and wherever you're at september you know whatever it's got all the different months um and they're really light so like you know it's supposed to it's on the tab so it's supposed to go through the side but you can barely see those at all so it's kind of not even worth having if they were as dark uh you know maybe as like they were just like this dark dark gray that they've got here almost black that might have helped better to be able to see it on the page edge but <clears throat> so you go to your months your months your months your months your months go through all of that and it's got every week and then at the end of the year it even so since uh, December 31st lands on a Monday. They give you the rest of that week too. So the way that works is, uh, you know, then I'll give you time to get into your new book. And it has all the weeks, like the week numbers up on the top in this, uh, in the header section there. So that's good. And then uh, you have basically the rest of it is dot grid. So for notes and whatnot. And let's see here, I get to the back and then voila, that's it. So why am I doing a video so long after doing the, um, the, the written review? It's because of this. Uh, I have a lot of things to give away. This is a mastermind desk pad. This is a full pack, so two of the 35 page mastermind desk pads, dot grid. If you haven't seen one of these or read my review, I'll put it in the show no or in the the links down below. Um, so, giving you one of these, giving you the new Mastermind Week Pad. This is a full uh, 54 weeks, so it's got three packs of 18. Um, so that makes it 54 weeks total. Um, so you can, and they're not dated or anything, so you can do whatever you want with them. And then I'm going to give away this extra, uh, confidant planner. So all three of these basically to plan out your whole of 2018 or however you want to do it. Um, in the link below, I will have, or in the notes below, I'll have a link to the Baron Fig, um, planner review giveaway so i'm going to do a special giveaway post and uh the key is for you guys that are watching this video to go down uh to the bottom there and sign up in the uh sign up uh, area it'll ask for your first name last name and your email address uh the only reason I am asking for those things is so i can uh contact you when you are the winner i'm going to uh Keep it to U.S. only um, and the uh, continental U.S., like 48 states, uh, so uh, the shipping cost won't be uh, not worth it <laughs> for me But uh, because shipping out of the country is like 25 bucks minimum. Uh, so uh, continental U.S. only, uh, please enter uh, on the uh, link below. And uh, I'm just going to use random.org and uh, pick a random number. And uh, yeah, 
uh, that I'll, I'll do it in about two weeks from the posting of this video. So uh, the, all that information will be on the giveaway post that's on leadfast.org. Um, so find the link below. If you like this video and the other videos and you'd like to see more of these type of videos, please leave a comment below. And uh, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. should be right down there if you're watching it on a desktop. Um, I'm not sure uh, in your YouTube app of choice where the subscribe button is. but um, So hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to the... Uh, to the channel uh always gonna do more giveaways gonna do more videos uh so check it out and uh thanks for watching appreciate it